Good morning. We're out here at uh, Stony Point at the Agris location in Stony and beautiful downtown Essex, I guess, Essex County. Day seven of our crop tour. Just thought I'd touch a little bit on the markets here first thing this morning. Um, you know, last week we've had a pretty nice run on the markets. Uh, lots of opportunity to get uh, $12 soybeans. Uh, they've kind of backed off here. Um, crop ratings were about as expected yesterday, um, down two or three percent. Good to excellent on both corn and soybeans in the U.S. Private estimators are saying uh, carryouts are a little bit bigger than uh, what the trade's been expecting. So that's taking a bit of the lid off of this uh, market here right at the moment. I think when you look at your marketing, though, um, yesterday may have been a key reversal. Uh, it's putting resistance on corn and soybeans. Uh, so we have had that little bit of a turn down, but don't let that stop you from adding more sales. Um, if we look at our past year, you know, Jan, Feb, March was a really good time to make some sales and we haven't had any opportunity since then. So now we get this late season rally. Let's make sure we're taking advantage of that and, and lots of people have, um, but maybe, maybe we need to take a little bit more as this market has kind of turned backwards here a little bit the last uh, couple of days. So see what that does here for the next, uh, next few days. We're down here in Essex uh, with, uh, with Rachel and Laura. We've been doing uh, a little bit of crop touring down here. So Rachel, um, overall, I know you're taking a little stab in the dark here. What do you what do you kind of see corn yields at for the county? Yeah, so if you took in consideration what's happened throughout the county, meaning like our drought on the north or our south end and then kind of our wetness here in the north end, I'd say that we were probably averaging around 180, like 175, 180 for the whole county. So we're still looking at pretty good yields, you know, with uh with everything that's happened this year. So um, with beans, I'd say probably the 45 to 50 range again with kind of the drought conditions down in our south end and the the um, over excessive amount of water that we got on the north end. So overall, I think we're going to have a good year. And Laura, what have you seen? You've been out uh, in the local area. What are you seeing here a little bit more locally? Um, yes, as Rachel mentioned, we definitely had some rain events, um, spring and early summer. Uh, so there is, there's some disease, there's some root rot, um, but uh, overall, they are the beans are looking really good. Um, I would say we're getting probably average to to good yields um, for the most part. Um, corn as well looks pretty good. Um, at this point, it's a little hard to say if we're going to be seeing vom, but um, it's looking pretty pretty good down here so far. Great, thanks, Laura. I'm seeing some soybeans starting to turn in some areas. Um, is that about normal, or what else are we seeing out there? Um, some of the some of the fields with a manganese deficiency are starting to turn, maybe a, a bit early. Um, not not super early, but it's it's definitely uh, definitely seeing a bit of a factor there. Yeah. So any any stresses we're seeing on the beans um, are are causing that earlier um, senescence of leaves and, and whatnot. Uh, Laura, uh, talk a little bit about uh, bean pod counts or beans per pod. Uh, what, what's, what's your feeling on, on some of those things that you've seen? Um, I think, so on some of the healthy bean uh, fields, I think our, our, uh, our record number this year was uh, eight, 80 or something pods per plant. So there's some really good, good looking crops out there. Um, I would, I would say an average of two, definitely two and a half to three beans per pod. Uh, from uh, other diseases, anything else, Rachel, that uh, that you're seeing, anything new propping up? Yeah, so uh, Laura was mentioning the root rots, but we're also seeing a little bit of sun and death syndrome. Um, there's been some kind of bean leaf or uh, some Japanese beetle feeding and some gra grasshopper feeding, but nothing uh, too crazy right now, just kind of the, the normal. So other than the, we had some root rots, our sun and death, and some of them mistaking for some uh, early dropping of the leaves for manganese deficiency. So other than that, things are looking pretty good. We are just north of the Stony Point branch location, so we're just... Um, a little wee bit south of Lake St. Clair is where we are here in, in Essex County. We're in a, a really nice field of soybeans. Rachel, what can you uh, tell us about this field of beans we're standing in? 
yeah, so these beans are looking really good. So I believe this is 2497s, and uh, as you can see, they're looking really nice, but this field would have caught most of that rain that I was talking about earlier. So I said that there was probably 11 days here in Stony Point where we saw 10 inches of rain, and this field would have caught most of the blunt of it, but it's still pulling off really strong. We, uh, we counted 579 pods per plant in this 21 inch um, section. So we're taking one ten thousandth of an acre to count that. And then I think we're averaging about 2.6 beans per pod here. So overall, these beans are looking pretty good. Laura, you've been in this field a little bit. What are you seeing? Uh, is there any disease pressure as we kind of look across this, uh, this field or any, anything else you might note in this particular field? Um, just looking across it, it looks really good still. Um, there is some insect damage, just a bit. Um, nothing too concerning, but disease-wise, this, this field's looking pretty good. And as Rachel said, you know, this particular field saw close to that 10 inches of water in 10 days, and that wasn't an inch per day either. There was a couple of pretty big rain events. So interesting to, to see how good this one looks. Uh, we're gonna take you down the road and show you what some variability might look like. Hey, we're just down the road from where we were just a few minutes ago and, and Rachel, maybe just talk a little bit about the difficulty in doing really good yield assessments through some of the variability we've got right where we're standing. Yeah, so we're sitting in this field here and you can kind of see that um, these beans are super hurting. So the previous field we were in, we were seeing pod counts up to like 572 and 550, but kind of here I'm standing, we're looking at like 100 and maybe just kind of north of me here, like 200-ish. So uh, it's hard in these situations because this field saw uh, like has a a big weather impact so we kind of mentioned before in Stony Point there was an 11 day segment where we had about 10 inches of rain and it came down in probably four to five inch uh, segments so this field was one of them that got hit really hard so thus making it kind of hard to count here but uh, this isn't really a good uh, I don't know a good representation of Essex County this is just kind of the severity we can see so everything else is looking pretty average and looking really good so Laura You've got a soybean plant in your hand there. Describe to us what you're seeing in that particular plant. So this, uh, this bean plant is definitely showing some signs of stress. Um, it's got about 20 pods on it. They're not filling um, as well as we would like to see. Um, it, this field was heavily impacted by the rain that we did get. Uh, there was sitting water for quite a while um, and the damage is, is very evident. Laura, uh, just quickly looking at that plant, there doesn't seem to be much nodulation on there. What, what, are, you, what are you seeing from that aspect? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stress that's been going on. Um, the nodes are not nice and pink like we would like to see. Um, there's not too many on the plant. It looks like maybe some compaction. Definitely, uh, definitely that water damage is playing a, playing a role in this as well. So this is um, our day number seven here. Um, counting down to the last few days of our crop tour and hey if you want to get your field uh, counted by all means um, give our staff a call uh, log on to our website and and register your field we'd be more than happy to come out and and have a good look at it and discuss your marketing as well with you have a great day